Hey friends, Joseph here at smalltownwanderer.com. I'm hanging out in my office right now in downtown Rhinelander here in northern Wisconsin and just helping people getting out and wandering around. I would love to help you if that is something you would love to have somebody help curate an all-inclusive tour, a cruise, a, a um, amusement park, or a resort for you, your family, your group. We'd love to, to help you. So just uh, go to smalltownwanderer.com and uh, reach out to us. There's an inquiry button there on the website and you can start the process for one of our agents to, to help you. Today, I just want to talk briefly about um, park and rides or what to do with your car at the airport when you are uh, getting out and exploring uh, our, our wonderful world. This is something we'd love to help you with. Um, many times we get no money, no commission for it, but we want what's best for you and uh, we'll, we'll do that just as part of our, our package to make sure you're hooked up with the right, um, the right uh, parking situation. Every airport is different. Uh, many of the ones we use a lot, um, Minneapolis, uh, Chicago, O'Hare, Milwaukee. Uh, we now are exploring out you know, all the way from down to Florida and to the West Coast. And we know a lot about those airports too. But um, some airports are amazing um, to just park them on site prices aren't that expensive and so we'll get you a nice hotel the night beforehand if you have an early flight and we'll just encourage you to drive to the airport pay the 12 bucks a day or even sometimes nine dollars a day to be there right on site so that you can um, you can get in and out really quick there's other places where there's off-site uh, Minneapolis is a great spot where we have some off-site parking options that we really recommend for you to use where you can park at um, uh, you go to your hotel the night before and then you park um, at the spot they'll shuttle you into the airport and then pick you up and shuttle you back the other option is to park and ride you, know, you see a lot of this at, um, ho at, at hotels many of those have to direct book with the hotel to get that that deal and again we can work with you on that um, where you park at the hotel you pay a little bit extra to leave your car then there for that duration of the time that you need. I personally uh, don't like that option as well and mainly because when I get back um, there that's where I get a little stressed where I'm trying to find that individual hotels shuttle because um, most of them only have one shuttle going back and forth back and forth so uh, quite frequently you can wait maybe sometimes a half hour, 45 minutes for the shuttle to come pick you up to then go drive you to the hotel to then, of course, get in your car and then leave. And so when I've been driving back um, for a whole day and I know I have to drive a little bit more and many of us up here in northern Wisconsin, that's where we're based out of and a lot of our clients are, are flying to, from, uh, you got to go drive another three or four hours to get back home. So that 45 minutes is actually pretty dear to me. So I like to personally park on site at the airport. I also usually do the economy parking, um, unless some airports can have really good parking close, or I'll do the shuttle parking to an actual established parking lot where they have multiple shuttles going back and forth. They have pickup spots where you can, um, get there quickly, get on it and go and be and get in your car and get out of there. So there's a, three options at um, most airports, most spots. The, actually, the other option is just have somebody drop you off, but that's always hard to do when um, uh, you live far away from the airport. So you gotta get there to get your car. We have left our car um, up to, I think the longest is like eight, uh, 21 days actually. 21 days um, we left our car on site. Um, and uh, didn't have any problems. We actually did a 14 day uh, went, uh, cruise and we had to leave our, our spot for four, uh, 14 days. It was in the middle of winter. We came back, our car didn't start. Um, I'll just tell you, I was so grateful to be um, at the parking ride where they just are used to that. If you would have been at a hotel, I'm not sure I would have gotten any help. Um, they were there to help, um, jump the car, we got it going. Um, and it was a very, very cold day. Um, so those are amazing reasons why to use some of those other options. But lots of options. We'd love to talk through it with each uh, each of you. And that's why you want to uh, reach out and have a personal concierge a travel agent 
uh, curate this whole trip with you. We once we don't just book a trip and say goodbye to you um, and or say see you later. Uh, we really want to help you with all of the other components of your experience. So reach out to smalltownwanderer.com, uh, hit the inquiry button, and we will uh, be there to uh, reach out to you and help you with your next trip. Alrighty, see you.